your drone ripping out there, getting more comfortable. Ripping, yeah. Out with the old, in with the new. Yeah. <laughs> At least you can get them out there and get it knocked out. Right, yeah. That's exactly right. Well, I think we should do the margins first. Oh, Mike, Mike, Mike. Oh God. All right, how's it going folks? Mike with New Way Ag. Today in this video, we're gonna see how well drones actually work. The fields that we're starting with are really, really green. In this video, at the end, we're going to come back here two weeks from now and see just how well the drones actually applied the chemical. We have about 100 acres to do for this farm. Really nice fields, flat, relatively large and open, so that's nice. But we're gonna get rolling. We're gonna be flying two drones on this project. Jess is gonna be flying one, I'm gonna be flying the other. Let's see how well do drones actually work. What, what? Oh, shh. What's happening? What's, oh, Mike, Mike, Mike. Oh God. Why is it just wanting to land? I'm just gonna bring it down. I don't know what's happening. Stand back. Oh, I know what it was. What so you didn't end at your so at when you're trying to come down to eight feet. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Task complete. That actually crashed a dude's drone once. He's like, I started flying and just wanna come down. <laughs> yeah. Did you end it now? Yeah. Oh, oh my that was terrifying. So let's see if we can edit this. Okay, well, sweet. Yeah. All right, you got your drone ripping out there, getting more comfortable. Ripping, yeah. More and more comfortable by the minute. Yeah. This new way of do doing boundaries is awesome. New way? Yeah. Did you do that it's on purpose? I didn't do it on purpose, it's pretty cool. <laughs> We got this thing rocking and rolling. We do have a slight breeze. We're looking at about four to five miles an hour every now and then, which could mess with our swath because if it picks up and then lowers, that's when you get a little bit of movement in that swath. And you know what? We're gonna be able to tell how it actually does in two weeks. We'll see. When you guys are doing drone spraying, you have a rig like this and you're out there getting it done, there's gonna be people that stop by all the time. It's just such new technology. To see it in person is just much crazier than just watching these videos. All right, here we go, guys. Two seasoned pilots. We're now gonna show you how many acres you could actually get done once you know the system and you got some experience under your belt. We've got two drones in this field. We're gonna roll the clock, see how fast we can do it. We're in Holmes County, Ohio, where the largest settlement of Amish people are. We got the latest tech out there, and then we got, you know, horses plowing over there. Out with the old, in with the new. <laughs> you got it. So one problem I wish DJI would do is have an internal battery keep them powered on, but trust me, it is the best ray drone on the market right now. 
So if that's the only thing I can complain about, I'll deal with it. At least you can get him out there and get it knocked out. Right, Jay? That's exactly right. That was a good response. I like it. I like it. Hey, what the? This little sucker here, I like it. Dude, this is nice. This, this is pretty nice. It's nice. We need a white one. This uh, is cool too. Yeah, like, has absolutely. This has its place. Totally. I just like having this. I mean, we didn't have it. We had to bring our stuff up, down, up, down, yeah. up, down. Leave it up here. Yeah, store it in here. What he's saying is we open this sucker up and boom, check that out. Got all our stuff in there. Yeah. I'm telling you, once you guys get into this, it's about the small details that makes you efficient. Feels good. That's complete. Okay, Jason's gonna go down there and rip around that one, build the boundary. I got a little bit, and then we're gonna land this one and we'll meet him down there. Feel like this with your radar turned off. Oh, we got batteries that need. We are doing 3.7 gallons an acre. Route spacing is 25 feet. Doing herbicide, we want to make sure we get everything. 500 micron. I'm in flat land right now because that's pretty flat over there. It's going all right. These fields were doing 5.5 gallons per acre, so the drone slowed down to 29 feet per second. We're doing route spacing at 25 feet of route spacing. So the drone is slowed down some, but it can still get it done. So I'm gonna explain a little bit how the software works in the drones. When you go out and you spray and it's doing a long line and say it's about three quarter of way down the field and it runs out of fluid, the drone will remember where it left off. Now, it doesn't mean that the drone is going to start there once I get done filling it up. It just knows that it needs to start there at some point, and it's going to use the most efficient way to spray the field. If I take off here, and it knows it can do one long run and then connect that short run at the end, that's what it's gonna do. And that's all built in to the software itself. So the efficiency is figured out by the computer. For example, I see a short row right here that it could have done, but it didn't do it right away. Now it just lapped off there. The next run, run it's probably gonna start this long line, come down all the way down here, and then get that short line, come back and get this short line. All right, guys, that's all we got for you today. Jay is just bringing in the last drone. The sun's still up. There's still time to go back and, I don't know, sit at the campfire. But uh, there you go. That's how you use drones to spray these fields. Now, we'll see here in the next couple weeks how good they actually done.
All right, how's it going? We are doing an update on these fields that we did burn down with the drones and just looking at it from here, it definitely worked. These fields here behind me were the last fields that me and Jason did. Now, this whole field here was sprayed at five gallons an acre. That field over there was mostly sprayed with five gallons an acre. One small portion all the way over to the trees was sprayed at two gallons an acre. And then we'll move down the road over there to that field was sprayed at three gallons an acre. And we're gonna see, is there a difference? I will say I drive past these fields every day. That field down there for some reason looks like it has some streaking in it. That one down there, now these don't look that way at all. So let's launch the drone and see. So yeah, this field here is definitely completely dead. If you match it up with the lawn here, I flew right down that path, flew over and around that telephone pole. Now I flew this in manual plus, going around the edge. Let's fly down these trees, check that. It looks really good down past the trees. Okay, so I know that this, this field here, obviously it worked. This was done at two gallons an acre. Okay, so we're gonna go over here to the field that Jason sprayed, which is this field right in front of me. Again, I don't see any streaking in here. Looks really good. Everything's dead there. Now, this is the field that Jessica first sprayed, and this was all the same grass. Okay, so right here, this corner, I know that she was being super careful because she didn't want to get close to this yard and kill the yard. So that's why we have a little green patch there. Overall, if you look at this, it did really well. You see this, the, here is a longer streak, and I'm just not sure why exactly this is like this. Maybe there was wind right there. Jessica was flying around this pump jack right here and gave it a little bit too much space maybe. That's why we didn't get right up against the pump jack. Definitely a miss, but for the most part, this whole field has been smoked. Now, the next field over, I'm going to bring the drone back and then drive down the road and we're gonna check out those fields. So this is the field that me and Jason did. Uh, this one was done at 3.7 gallons per acre and this whole thing was hit really good. Now there's different types of weeds throughout this field. That's why some look slightly different. As a general, the whole field has been hit really good. There's one more field up here that had all the same type of grass. We're gonna go up there and see what that looks like. Okay, so this is the last field. Um, this all had the same type of grass. Now I can see that there's a couple spots right here where it came to its end rows and it that swath came in again, but nothing super obvious out through the field as far as streaking right to the edge around the tree edge that was right there. But I'm gonna launch the drone, see what it looks like from the air. There you go, using drones to do burn down, it works. Get a hold of us, newwayag.com. If you need drones, trailers, whatever, we can help you uh, get started. That's all we got, hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys on the next one.